so the next topic is computer organization and architecture and the subject uh, for for the syllabus for this particular subject can be categorized as follows so we'll be having the first chapter which is uh, the memory interfacing then we'll be discussing about what is io interfacing that is input output interfacing after io interfacing we are going to discuss about what is machine instructions machine instructions then we'll be discussing about what is control unit design control unit design after doing the control unit design we'll discuss about the alu at data path alu data path then we'll be discussing about the addressing modes after addressing modes the next topic will be the number system so this number system is a common topic as uh, it is also there in digital logic so we are going to discuss the number system in computer architecture and organization then we'll be discussing about the data representations and then we'll be discussing about the last topic which is a pipelining so pipelining is one of the most important topic in computer architecture okay and the books which you need to refer for memory interfacing and io interfacing you can refer the book which is hayes for machine instructions and uh, control unit design alu data path addressing modes and number system and data representation for all these topics you are going to refer the book which is morris menu and uh, then for pipelining again you can refer the book which is his so otherwise uh, you don't need to buy books for this subject uh, for the students who are preparing for gate examination the subject is for 8 to 11 marks and even for ugc net examination the subject is containing high uh, uh, no weightage because there are few subjects which are interrelated with each other so whenever you are preparing some subjects you are going you prepare those subjects in combination with each other because there are a lot of topics which are inter uh, you know, interlapping with those particular subjects for example we have digital logic computer architecture organization and operating system these three subjects are having topics which are overlapping with each other so if you prepare any one of these subjects then you have to prepare all the three subjects thoroughly to get a thorough uh, knowledge about all these subjects again the same way if we discuss about the C programming, data structures, algorithms, and for C++ for the students who are preparing for UGC net examinations, and uh, some programming language knowledge, then these, uh, you, you can say programming methodology, these topics contain, you know, they are one single package. In the same way, there are some subjects which are always studied in a package. So for this subject, because there are some topics which are overlapping with operating system and computer architecture, topics like memory management, and uh, IU management also so that is why we studied them together in the same way for digital logic and computer architecture there are some topics which are inter overlapping with each other for example if you are discussing about the data bus or the system bus design then it is a made up of multiplexers again we studied multiplexer and digital logic there's a number system which we start we also studied the number system in digital logic and in computer architecture organization so instead of covering that two times I cover it only once okay so uh, we are going to discuss about all these topics in details and for that first of, first of all you need to have an introduction about what is a computer architecture right so when we discuss about the computer architecture or when we discuss about a computer first what is a computer what is a computer so computer takes some data or some programs as input and when I'm saying programs, then these programs are set of instructions. The programs are set of instructions. And what is the set of instructions? These are the commands to perform certain task. Commands to perform tasks are called as instructions. Okay. And by after taking this data and the program, the computer gives us some result or you can say it gives us some output right and here this computer converts all the programs or whatever data it has taken 
uh, in machine language with the help of uh, you know the operating system or the compilers etc etc so there are multiple layers of this and when i'm saying machine language that means it understands with zeros and ones let me tell you a very simple example your computer is an le electronic machine electronic device if you you are going to give an instruction to the computer by saying add 56 plus 97 now this 56 and 97 are not known to the computer in the same way if you are going to say a b c d to the computer then it is it will not be able to understand this one why because it is a electronic device and generally the electrical circuits which we take here they understand only zeros and one so you can consider it like a switch either the switch can be on or it can be off so that means there are only two states for this that is zeros and ones and with the help of all these different combinations of circuits we try to make an organization of these circuits to make a machine which should be able to understand all these different things very easily okay so in the uh, you know we have three different disciplines here number one is the computer architecture what is a computer architecture number two is what is a computer organization computer organization and number three is what is the computer design what is the computer design okay so there are three topics computer architecture second computer organization third one is the computer design so when we discuss about the computer architecture then computer architecture it de deals with instructions addressing modes alu pipelining and internal design of the computer so you can say it deals with instructions addressing modes alu pipelining etc so when i'm saying these topics that means it deals with the internal design of the computer internal design of the computer so computer architecture deals with the internal design of the computer so when i'm saying computer organization now this computer organization deals with various memory and io interfaces or you can say how the how the various memory and io uh, interacts with the system so it deals with it deals with how various memory and io interacts with a system with a system and when i'm saying computer design now this computer design deals with the hardware designs it deals with hardware design with hardware design so combined with all these things combined with all these three topics here it, it, it is called as computer architecture and organization and sometimes it is also named as computer architecture and design sometimes computer or uh, organization and design etc etc so there are multiple names for this particular subject but the same one thing is common either it will be computer architecture and organization or it will be computer organization and design or it will, it will be computer architecture and design so these three things will be common in the names of this particular subject okay so we'll start with the first topic which is the memory interfacing and slowly we are going to cover all these topics one by one and uh, we'll be seeing the various uh, you know uh, the things which are required for this subject and we are going to cover them one by one whatever things are required and we are going to take it step by step okay now let us start with the first chapter that is the memory interfacing uh, in, in terms of computer architectures okay <coughs> 